The union cabinet has approved sugar export subsidy for about 6 million tons of sugar. The subsidy will directly be transferred to the farmer's account on behalf of the sugar mills. The move will not only help clear farmers' dues, but also ease the glut after record outputs and uh, raise prices too. Let's discuss these implications of this move with Abhinash Varma of ISMA and Atul Chaturvedi of Sri Ranaka Sugars. Uh, gentlemen, both of you, thank you very much for joining in. Um, an additional export subsidy will cost the exchequer closer to about 6,200-odd crores. Is this enough for the industry? Abhinash, I'll start off with you first. I think so. I think it is enough for the industry. Even though the losses on exports would be about 11 rupees or 12 rupees per kilo today uh, if somebody exports into the international market because the global prices at, as of now is uh, low on the lower side mainly because Brazilian production is still on and uh, the Brazilian currency has depreciated quite substantially in the last couple of weeks. So that's the reason the global prices are lower. We expect the global prices to firm up uh, say from middle of November onwards when India would be exporting sugar and uh, therefore we believe that the current announcement of 6200 crore per ton uh, the subsidy working out to 10,500 rupees is good enough will be attractive and the Indian sugar mills would, will export. Right. Mr. Chaturvedi, do you concur? I mean, being an industry veteran, um, also uh, with regards to the direct transfer of this additional subsidy to farmers and the fact that this could actually help in bringing down cane arrears. And do you think it is going to be a meaningful reduction of that? No, no, definitely. In fact, one of the best things about the government is that they've been able to take these decisions very, very timely. In fact, the decision being taken at uh, in... Uh, August means that the mills would be all ready when the crushing season starts and that would help the liquidity of the mills during this season time. And that should keep the farmers' dues much more in check. And this government, I must congratulate uh, them that they've been taking very proactive action to ensure uh, that all stakeholders uh, within the sugar sector are taken care of. The mills are taken care of, the farmers are taken care of, and the consumer also uh, is getting sugar relatively cheaply at around 30 rupees, a, 31 rupees a kilo or thereabouts. So it's a win-win situation for everyone in the sector. Currently, as we stand at this point, what is the disparity between the realizations domestically and international realizations? And even after the subsidy that the government is giving, uh, does the attractiveness improve that much for uh, sugar millers such as yourself to give a bigger push to export? No, as Mr. Varma rightly pointed out, that uh, at around uh, roughly 11 rupees a kilo subsidy, that should uh, at this point of time take care of... Uh, the disparity between uh, exporting sugar and the domestic uh, prices. And going into the season, this disparity might actually shrink because the local sugar availability would improve dramatically with the crushing season on. So I think what Mr. Verma is saying is absolutely spot on. It's a good decision. And as it has been announced a little before the season, so I think people will be ready to ensure that the exports actually kick off uh, once the sugar season uh, starts. Abhinash, this moves have been being tried for a while. Uh, I don't think we've seen uh, too much of export. You think this alone will do it or is there something else that is needed along with this? No, let me correct you there. Last year, we were given a target of 50 lakh tons to export. I believe we have done about 37, 38 lakh tons already. And uh, the, the issue is that individual quotas to each and every sugar mill is given to export. Now, what happens an individual targets given? Some people don't really export because of various reasons. Last season, what happened? There were conditions attached to the exports that if you fulfill X, Y, Z conditions given by the government, then only you are going to be eligible for the export subsidy. And therefore, there were some people who did not export or who were not interested in exporting. Next year, about 60 lakh tons has been given as the target, slightly more than last year. But I believe that the subsidies now announced will be direct export subsidies and there will not be any condition attached to that. And therefore, we should be seeing most of us, almost all of us on board to export. I mean, 60 million lakh tons, 
even if 50 lakh tons is achieved i think it's an excellent achievement uh you know coming to you abinash uh, when we were talking about uh, you know pushing exports taking a look at how our production has gone up i think october to april it was about 32 uh, um, 32 million tons brazil's output this year uh, we're most likely to even surpass that so you know even with a subsidy does pricing work in favor considering we have so much of production and there is still a glut in the system or do you believe uh, that that's on its way uh, on its way down uh, uh, if i get your question correctly you are asking me that there is too much of sugar in the country and there is a glut and therefore whether we are going to export the sugar or not yeah and in any which way is in the external that market that is the reason that we are going to export yeah and anyways in the external market globally as well you have major producers which are also producing a similar amount or maybe more uh, international market will be seeing a deficit for the first time after i think 3 years last 3 years we had surplus production globally Next year, everybody is expecting a deficit of about 4 million tons in the global market. And that is why India has a very bright chance. If India doesn't fill up that deficit of 4 million tons, the world prices are going to spiral and jump very high. The world market is expecting and wanting Indian sugar. And therefore, we should be getting an opportunity to move our sugar from the middle of November to at least May 2020, when the Brazilians are not in the world market. I see a great opportunity because there is a deficit in the global market and we have surplus in the domestic market. Therefore, export program is going to be successful. Whether we're going to do 5 million tons of exports or more, time will tell us. Okay, which would also mean the prices globally could go higher because of the deficit. Uh, my question is to you, Mr. Chaturvedi, now that there is a release mechanism by the government which uh, tells every company how much uh, uh, how much sugar every mill can sell now uh, how, what is what will be the opening inventory for you all in the new sugar season and how much will you look to as export and uh, j just for the benefit of our viewers as well in terms of pricing international prices are somewhere about 21 domestic prices are somewhere about 31 32 and there is MSP of about uh, two rupees so does that also mean that the export would happen now at the at par uh, for, for the mill owners as well now, first and foremost, let me uh, add to what uh, Avinash said. This year, India's production is also going to come off a bit because uh, first parts of Maharashtra and Karnataka suffered from drought, and then subsequently we had floods, which uh, ravaged parts of uh, sugar-growing area. So you could see uh, sugar production in some of these states plummeting from last year's high levels. So that should be a cause of uh, uh, relief uh, to the excess production which we've been seeing in India. Secondly, to answer your question, specifically, I think uh, LOQs should start uh, moving uh, even now. But I would possibly say uh, that the exports real-time will start picking up once the new crushing season is on, which is in November. So then uh, by that time, all these policies would have been in place and the uh, release mechanism would be in place. And to answer your other point of release mechanism on a monthly basis, I think that's another wonderful idea of the government. Otherwise, uh, with such high stocks, we would have seen uh, uh, bloodbath in the marketplace. And the, the markets have uh, stayed uh, more or less around 31 or 32 rupees a level instead of falling down to 21 or 22 in the domestic market, it's largely because of the release mechanism. Obviously, this puts a little bit of a strain in terms of the working capital and the interest outgo. But overall, it is helping the industry tide over bad, uh, bad times. Which right. is the last question from me, since you already mentioned about the drought period and the floods, and you're saying that the production will come off. Uh, you know, what would your you know back of hand calculation be with regards to if you had to make an educated guess as to what production levels could go down by? I think Avinash would be in a better position to tell that, but our rough estimate is that you could have a production drop of about four or four and a half million tons or thereabouts uh, compared to what it was last year. All right, Abhinash, is that uh, fair enough? 
yeah, I mean, if you really talk about the numbers, last year we produced, uh, the current season, we are going to produce almost 33 million tons. Next year's estimation of ISMA is already at 28.2, so already minus 5 million tons. What is the impact of the flood in uh, the southern part of Maharashtra or the northern part of Karnataka? We are getting our satellite images done and then we will do an analysis. I think in the next 10 days, ISMA will be ready uh, about the impact on, on the, of the floods on the sugarcane crop. But currently we are at about 28 million tons as compared to 33 of last year. All right, gentlemen, we leave it at that. Uh, I really appreciate you taking out the time this afternoon and joining us on this uh, very insightful discussion. Thank you very much for taking out the time.